Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. This is the late night stock talk that we're going to do tonight. Tonight we're going to talk about AMC. And we're actually going to highlight on their CEO, chairman of the board, Adam Aaron. I feel like Adam doesn't realize that he represents so many people, so many investments, and the actual business itself. You know, he wrote a tweet today, tonight, where he's being fake upset. I say he's not really upset, but he's acting that way. And he wants to use every four-letter word that ends with CK. And he typed out, buck, suck, cuck. And of course, he didn't. He left out the F word only to say that's how upset he was. And the unfortunate part is, Adam, I'd, I'd ask you to be more professional. You know, if you see a headline that's written wrong, it's one thing to be upset about it, but it's another thing for you to go the length that you went. You know, your representation of your company, yourself, and potential shareholders. And the unfortunate part is, I find you extremely unbecoming. Like you literally could never represent me and my interests with the way you tweet and the way you talk because you're supposed to be held to that standard. You're the CEO and you don't act like it. It's like you have an open agenda just to say whatever you want and what you're saying is extremely childish in a way. And I'll explain it to you. You know how many headlines have been wrong about AMC? How many headlines they've actually said, oh, you're a failed company or this, you're that? And you're never up in arms, right? You just, oh, you know what's being said. Oh, the short sellers. There's so many YouTubers. There's so many Reddit personalities and Twitter guys who have said you're the worst everything. Explain why you don't fight the shorts. Explain why you're in bed with the shorts. But you're not upset about that stuff. You're upset about a, a misread title where it says Amazon is buying AMC. And it was on the 28th of March. And obviously it didn't happen. We know it didn't happen. But your stock price increased that day by what, 15, 20% instantly when it when it got announced? Were you upset then? Were you upset when it was going up? And they, No, you don't get upset on the day-to-day -day price action. You don't get upset on day-to-day -day headlines. It's just what, you go run your business and let whatever people wanna write, let them write it. What does it matter? It doesn't make your balance sheet any better? No, okay, so what are you upset about? That's a, it would be the best thing ever if Amazon bought out AMC. It would save you from all the mistakes you've made over the last seven years. But we know two to three years from now, you'll be retired and private equity will sweep in and it'll be like, well, because Adam Aaron left, that's why this company got bought out and went to bankruptcy. It was all because he left. He was a savior and now he can't save him anymore. The false hope and the false profit that you are, Adam Aaron, I won't endorse that. And if you allow it, you promote it. Pretty, that's basically it. So um, I won't allow you to act like you're mad or act like you're you're so upset that you want to say all these four letter words. I'll say a four letter word for you and it's fail. And that's exactly what you have done as a CEO. You have failed your shareholders, you have failed everyone around you and I'll just keep promoting that and I'll keep telling everybody that part of your of your daily routine. But as far as getting up in arms about stuff, go do that for somebody else, man. And people see through your bullshit every time. I don't even know who's still involved in AMC. I don't know who would want to be, who believes in it. Nobody, but they're all, if people are in it, it's because they're stuck at a, at a share price and they don't want to accept the fact that they're losing 95% of their investment. They don't want to go ahead and, you know, and admit that they were duped and manipulated by you, wrinkled shirt Adam Aaron. They don't want to do that part. So I'll do it for them. Don't worry. You guys have all been conned by this man. And allegedly, he's a good guy. No, he's the worst. And he, and he proves it again with just a simple tweet. So that's my little rant for the night. I want you guys to have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. GameStop, can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'm going to see you around, millionaires. And as far as AMC, guys, I told you so. But I told you like two years ago. You didn't want to listen then. And, you know, I'm telling Bed Bath to be on right now. And they don't want to listen now. And H I M C. I told you the minute that shit came out over a year ago. And at some point, man, I just, I just gotta, I just gotta come to grips. I gotta come to grips that I can't save everybody and that some people are just stupid. That's it. All right. Have a good night, guys. GameStop. You know what I said. Peace.